It is a day where we honor the, the men and women who have served this country and have lost their lives, the ultimate sacrifice to this country. So we thank them. As the White Sox welcome in the Toronto Blue Jays. It's game one of a three-game series. Got a rematch on the mound from last week in Toronto. Chris Bassett, Nick Nestrini, the rookie right-hander, looking for a bounce back outing. Good Nick Nestrini as he comes out. This is his fourth start of the year. He's looking for his first win in 11 and a third innings. So the command hasn't been there. Hopefully today he's able to find it. For the Toronto Blue Jays lineup, it has either been feast or famine. They're scoring a ton of runs or they're not scoring at all. And this first inning has plagued them. It is 18 straight games they have not scored in the first inning. Nestrini to Davis Schneider. As Schneider sends one high in the air to left field. Benetendi will make the catch for the first out of the ball game. Andy Jansen steps in. Off the end of the bat. Slow roll to DeYoung. There's out number two here in the first inning. To bring up Vladimir Guerrero Jr., who is doing a nice job of the plate these days. Fastball by him. That's the good Nick Nestrini stuff we're used to seeing. One, two, three, go the Jays. Chris Bassett on the mound. Uh, last time he faced the Chicago White Sox, seven shutout innings. There's a ground ball to third, scooped by Kiner Falefa. That'll bring up Nicky Lopez, left hand hitting second baseman. As Nicky Lopez sends a charge down the right field, he comes up with his first hit of the game. 2 0 pitch is sliced in the air out to left, hanging up. Schneider's got a beat and makes the catch. Two down. And it will bring up Andrew Vaughn. And that one sent into left field. So two hits in this first inning off Chris Bassett. First and second, two away, opening inning. Benintendi lines into right, base hit. Lopez around third is going to be held by Eddie Rodriguez. And a one-hop missile from Springer went right directly to home plate. I'll tell you, I thought Eddie was being a little conservative, but after watching that Springer throw, he would have been out. Three hits here in the inning, and now Paul DeYoung, the ex-Blue Jay, with two outs. Swing and a fly ball, right field. Springer on the run, makes the catch, and ends the inning. Bassett plays with fire, but doesn't get burned. He strands the bases loaded after three hits and keeps the White Sox off the board. Two down, here's Dalton Varsho, left-hand hitter. And first walk given up by Nestrini today. George Springer dropping down to seventh in the starting lineup. And he lifts one to left field, and he's tagged it pretty well. And it is gone! In his first ever start in the seven spot in a batting order, he swings at the first pitch he sees, and he hits it out to give the Blue Jays a two to nothing lead. I'm not sure if George does not like hitting in the seventh spot or he loves hitting in the seventh spot. One in 44 games since coming into this one. That's why that one felt so good. Bottom of the second on the south side in Chicago with Chris Bassett back on the mound. On May the 15th. A fly ball to left center, fairly deep, but it's playable for Davis Schneider in the first down. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him on a sinker, and there are two down. Curveball cut on on missed, strike three. Back-to-back -back Ks for Chris Bassett in a 1-2-3 bottom of the second. Blue Jays getting back to the bats. Left-hand hitter, he homered yesterday for the first time since opening day, and he bounced a fastball for a walk to start this inning. Hopped up. Down the right field line, Vaughn is over there, so is Lopez and Jolks, and Nicky will make the catch in fair territory for the first out. That'll bring up Jansen. There goes Biggio, and the pitch gets away from Maldonado, and Cavan is on his way to third. So that'll be a stolen base and a wild pitch as Biggio comes all the way around to third. Well, Cavan just understanding the game of baseball. And this is another example. Swing and a miss. That's a big one. And that slider kind of hovered a little bit and didn't really break down. Luckily enough, Ladd is coming up next. Guerrero to bat with two outs and Cavan Biggio on third. Two nothing Blue Jays. Guerrero swings, hits a bouncing grounder to short backhanded by DeYoung and he'll get him at first base so that's a big break for Nestrini. Nice gift from Guerrero. Well, Lopez the runner on first swing and a miss strike three. Tied him up with the inside cutter Bassett strikes out Vaughn and strands the base runner and it's two nothing Blue Jays after three. We're underway in the top of the fourth. Tap into the power a little bit last week and we'll hope to continue to see it moving forward. Hit a home run off. This guy Nick Nestrini to straightaway center back in the Rogers Center and now he lifts one to straightaway center again. Fam is back and he did it again. Bo Bichette lines one out to straightaway center. 
for his fourth home run of the season. Two of them have come off Nestrini. Blue Jays have two hits in this game, and they are both home runs by Springer and Bichette. Here's Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Runner on first, Dalton Varsho. Got to try it, right? I would think. He looks like he's yeah, trying. It. Ooh, he might have gotten out there so early he broke back, but Kiner Falefa lines it to deep left and it's off the wall. Around a third comes Varsho. It is a double for IKF. Here's Kevin Biggio now, second and third, two down. And he swings away and he hits it sky high on the infield. Just to the left of the bag at second, and now behind it, it's caught by DeYoung. So Nestrini works out of it, and the Blue Jays lead 3-0 in the fourth. Chris Bassett on the mound for Toronto. Swing and a miss. Got him on the cutter. Swing and a miss. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts for Bassett this inning, and three in a row going back to the third. He has used that cutter very effectively. Curveball. Got him. Strike three. Dropped it on the top of the zone. Chris Bassett strikes out three this inning around a Corey Jolks double. Three nothing Blue Jays. Homers from George Springer and Bo Bichette. Swing and a miss. Got him on a sweeper down and away. Seven strikeouts for Bassett and two down in the bottom of the fifth. Well, ever since that first inning ended, Chris Bassett has been lights out, just dotting every single pitch that he has thrown. The results have certainly been good. Little pop up left side and Bichette dropped it. He got there, got a glove on it, but couldn't squeeze it. We could hear Bo yell from up here, I got it, I got it, because he didn't want to collide with Kiner Falefa. Isaiah pulls back, and Bo just missed the baseball. And that brings up a guy with some pop in Gavin Sheets. Ooh, he wanted it. Look how unhappy he is that he didn't get it. He made a great pitch. And a ground ball the other way will sneak under the glove of Kiner Falefa into left. And the White Sox have runners at first and third. That's a tough break for Chris Bassett. Makes such a good pitch. Just the group in the field having a little chat to slow things down here. A big spot all of a sudden. So a pop up that fell for an error and then an excuse me wrong way base hit. And all of a sudden the tying run is at the plate. Andrew Vaughn. Grounded softly left side picked up at third IKF throws over to second and ends the inning. Bassett strands the pair and keeps the White Sox off the board. Chris Bassett who went five innings five hits. No earned runs, no walks. He hit a batter and struck out seven. So now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Got to find a way to get a run out of this. First and third, one out. Vladdy 0 for 2 with a walk. Bounced up the middle. And this is the last thing they wanted, a double play ball. And they fail to add to their lead again. Another chance here today. Gavin Sheets leads off. 3-0 Toronto. Hello. Going back and right off the bat of Sheets. And it gets out. A solo shot to start this bottom of the eighth. And the White Sox get on the board. The fourth home run of the season for Gavin Sheets. And it's a three run Toronto lead. There's that energy in the dugout we love to see. Right hander Zach Pop against Paul DeYoung. Runner at first. One out here in the eighth. Slider grounded to short. Bichette to second one. Biggio to first. They don't turn it. DeYoung is safe on a very close play. And Schneider is looking back towards Gil Kim, who must be on the phone. And no challenge by the Blue Jays. Corey Jolks. Bats with a man on and two outs. Jolks. And that one's going to drop in center. First and second, two down. First pitch, fastball, hit in the air, right field. Springer charging, makes the catch chest high. And ends the inning. Two outs in the top of the ninth. Schneider's up. 0 for 3 with a walk. Runner on first. Two down. The and it is hit in the air. Left field and deep. And Davis Schneider has hit it out. And man, oh man, could they use that. It is now 5-1 to one here in the ninth. And that's why fouling off tough pitches, staying alive as long as you can is so important. Well, two on, nobody out in a four-run game. Down to third to second one on to first double play and get the White Sox down to their final out. 1 0 pitch rolled softly to second Biggio has it he throws over to first and that's the ball game on a Memorial Day Monday matinee the Blue Jays go yard three times and take the first one against the White Sox 5 1.